quickly. Just we'll try to go through. Just relax. Conceptually, it is not a challenging chapter. Or you can say mathematically also not a challenging chapter. You will not face any complicated calculation or you will not face any of the things which can bounce over your brain. Then just relax. Just spend another 20 to 25 minutes. Lifelong, you will learn how to handle the direction sense. Just will try to understand introduction of direction sense. What are the things will come or maybe some uh, some uh, particular terminology which you will face during solving the questions. It is mainly 2D movement of a person. Movement of certain distances in a specified direction that is called direction sense certain distance in specified direction both word important careful about the relative positions with respect to which point initial point or with respect to the eastward direction with respect to some other person with respect to the some middle point based on which direction will change based on that direction will change Maybe with respect to initial initial position, you are in northeast, but based on the based on the some other person who are standing at some different point, you may be at the southwest. Then you must careful about the relative positions. Again, you will visualize just another five minutes. You will be able to visualize each and everything very clearly, very clear photographs and uh, diagrams will be there. Left and right movement of a person always be careful. Once you are taking the right direction and left direction of a person, first you visualize which direction face is there. Based on the face direction, only right and left will be there. Many of the times, if uh, two, three, or more than more than three combination of right left will be there, you will get confusion. And one confusion answer will be totally different. Once you have taken something wrong in place of left or right, or just opposite of that, answer will be totally different. Ninety degree turn from a point or 45 degree turn or sometimes in place of that they will use clockwise anti-clockwise then be careful clockwise turning anti-clockwise turning and clockwise turning then again 90 degree turning or you can say just a combination of all these things distance traveled is equal to the sum of all distance covered irrespective of direction change because if you know a little bit physics then distance is a scalar it is not a vector quantity then it will be just add all the values whatever you have traveled shortest distance is displacement with respect to any reference point means whatever shortest aerial distance that we can say 